Among the great artistic achievements of the people of Myanmar is Yun, the generic name for lacquer in Myanmar. First, the object to be lacquer is constructed from either interwoven bamboo strips and horsehair or wood. When the basic form is completed, a coat of lacquer mixed with fine clay seals it. It is then put into a special cellar to dry for 3 to 10 days. Afterwards, it is smoothed and polished. This process is repeated again and again until the item is completely smooth. Finally, it is given a coat of fine, glossy quality lacquer. Relief molded lacquer receptacles, created mostly in Mandalay for Buddhist votive use, constitute an art form in which Myanmar excels. This lacquer, called tayo, is mixed with sifted paddy husk or cow dung ashes to which pulverized bone is added for strength, resulting in a plastic material easily molded, modeled, or stamped into relief designs. Tayo will adhere to wood, basketry, stone, and metal. When each formed piece of tayo is hardened, it is lacquered at the rear. Tayo designs may be inset with mirror glass. The most spectacular receptacles are the sun ok tall pedestaled bowls used to offer food to monks. Like the population at large, monks traditionally enjoyed a quid of betel, and fully stocked boxes were often presented to monasteries for the use of the inhabitants. The most beautiful, with gilded tayo decoration, were reserved for display purposes before the shrine in deference to the Buddha. The objects we show here are, in order of appearance, a betel box on a stand presented to a monastery to serve a royal accoutrement to a Buddha image. Then, a covered wooden pedestal receptacle in which a quid of betel or pickled tea was placed before a family shrine. Finally, a heavily embellished ceremonial water goblet and cup set on a stand as it would appear before a Buddha image at a pagoda shrine.